Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so, uh, I'm Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Haven't done a video in a while because I actually passed my technicals already, but people have been saying they like them, so I'm just going to keep going with them. And I think it's interesting anyway. So, uh, I found this problem remove K digits. Hopefully, I didn't do it before. It looks pretty cool. Um, Given a non negative integer num represented as a string, so we have a number as a string. Remove K digits so that the number. A uh, new number is as small as possible, right? So here's our example. Let's just make a little comment here. Um, so our input is this, and then we have k is 3. So we want to remove three digits from this number so that this number becomes as small as possible. So we'd remove 4, 3, and 2, and it would be 12, 19. Those are the, that's the smallest possible number we can get from removing any three digits. So how do we do this? Um, well, the answer is a greedy algorithm. Um, I don't think I've done too many greedy problems, but basically what happens is we're going to make the best possible decision at each step. We're going to loop through the number, kind of, and um, at each step we're going to make the best possible decision of what if we want to keep the number, current number, or if we want to delete it and go with a different number. So, you know, um, it's kind of like short-term payoff. Uh, what? Okay, so let, let, well, let's just get into it. Okay, so I, I don't think I'm good at explaining. I haven't watched a greedy algorithm explanation in a while. Okay, so int size is equal to num.length, right? And they do annoying string stuff with the numbers, which I don't like. So if uh, k is equal to size, I don't know why they didn't just give us a number, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to return zero, right? Because if k is equal to size, we can return the, we can delete every character in the number. So that would be zero, right? Easy. Okay. Um, now we're going to have a stack, right? So here's the algorithm. It's a greedy algorithm. We're going to have a stack and we're going to save numbers onto the stack, right? So every we're just going to loop through and add everything onto the stack. So the stack would look like this at the end. We're going to do stack is equal to one. Then we're going to have four. Then we're going to have three. Then we're going to have two. Then we're going to have two. Then we're going to have one. Then we're going to have nine. So how do we actually handle the deletions, you know? This is just putting things onto a stack, right? And then what? Then what? Um, then we're going to take what's in the stack. We're going to have a string builder. And we're going to can pop off the stack, put the numbers onto the string builder, and then we're going to reverse it, right? Because you have to, we have to do like some kind of loop after we have our stack. We're going to do stack while stack is not empty. Um, let's just get the annoying string stuff out of the way. We're going to do... Uh, yeah, let's do this here. Stack stack is equal to new stack, right? And it's a stack of characters because um, this is annoying. They do characters instead of numbers. Okay, so at the end, we're going we're gonna to do some stuff here. Do stuff with putting nums on stack. Okay, let's just do it. Okay, I haven't really, I haven't made a video in like two weeks or something, so I'm having a bad time. Okay, we're gonna have a counter. We'll do while counter is less than num dot length, right? Or less than size. We already have this. So while counter is less than size, we'll just put our numbers onto the stack for now. So we'll do stack dot push um, num dot char at counter. So each time we'll just put the current character onto the stack and we'll do this. So this is just putting digits onto the stack like we did down here, right? Stack one fourth, right? We go through this number. We can delete this. And we're just putting the, we're looping through and we're putting each digit onto the stack, right? Okay. Good, now the stack has our number that we're gonna return. So we're gonna have our string builder, SB is equal to new string builder. Um, and then we're gonna do while stack is not empty because the stack has all the digits we want. We'll do char current char is equal to stack dot pop. So we get the current, the most recent one up. So we're going to go in reverse order, basically, because that's how a stack works. Nine is on top, then one, then two. So we're going to, this is going to be nine, then it's going to be one, two, two, right? Nine, one, two, two. And we're going to append them to the string builder, right? SB.append um, current char, right? The only problem is now when we return S, what we're going to do is we're going to return, we're using the string builder because of this annoying character string numbers thing. Um, so we're going to return sb.toString at the end, but this is going to be in reverse order, so we just have to call sb.reverse. Okay, there we go. Also, for formatting purposes, if we have any le um, leading zeros, we don't want to return this. If this is the number that we have, 
we just we want to delete all the zeros, right? Because we this number there's no you, no one wants leading zeros. That's dumb. Um, so there we go. We're going to just do okay. Also, while sb dot length is greater than one, and um, sb dot char at zero is equal to zero. Um, sb dot delete it has a built-in method delete char at zero. There we go. We're done. Okay. There we go. We're done with all the annoying string stuff. Now for the actual algorithm. So that's that's so annoying that we had to do that, you know. Um, but that's fine. Here's the algorithm. This is why it's greedy. Notice that the numbers that we're deleting are four, three, and two. So if we look at the difference between one and four, so let's say we put one. We have a stack, right? We put one on the stack. That's fine, right? Now, every time we find a number that's smaller than one, we're gonna wanna get rid of, yeah, I'll explain this, okay. So we have a stack, and then we, the next number's four, right? So from one to four, that's plus three. So that's fine, that's fine, okay. But four to three, that's minus one. Okay, so when we find a decrease, we're gonna wanna put that on the stack. So our stack is gonna have one and then four, and then we're gonna see a three, and we're gonna be like, okay, well, 14 is the number we'd have right now. Well, three is less than four, and so whenever we find a number less than the peak of the stack, we're gonna be like, okay, three is less than four, so I could I could have 13 or I could have 14, and I'm greedy, so obviously I'm gonna have I'm want 13 instead of 14, right? And then when I see two after that, the stack's gonna have one and three now, because it's 13, because I got rid of that four. So I pop the four off and I put a three there because that's smaller. Now I see a two. Well, I'm just gonna be like, okay, now I found a two. Okay, two is better than three, that's a 12. And I get rid of the three, I put the two on there, and that's the whole algorithm, that's literally it. So all you have to do is while k is greater than zero, um, and stack's not empty because we're popping things off the stack. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys, it's really intuitive to me. Um, and uh, sb dot, I mean, sorry, stack dot, peak is greater than um, stack dots or num dot char at the counter. So if the next character is greater than what's left on the stack, we'll just decrement k. We'll pop off the stack and decrement k. We get rid of the element because we found a better option and we're greedy so we want the better option. Um, the only case, edge case we have to handle is one, 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 or any repeating digits because literally this loop will just put all of those numbers on the stack because it won't find anything, any decrease anywhere um, because they're all the same. So, but it doesn't matter which numbers we decrease. So you can delete any of the ones. It's going to be the same number at the end. So literally all you have to do is stack.pop and k minus minus. So you're just, if you find a number that's less than the previous one on the stack, you just delete what's on the stack and you put that. You find a better option, you take it, you're greedy. You know, if I, you know, if I, if my options are eat candy now for immediate pleasure and feel sick tomorrow, I'm gonna eat the candy now because I'm greedy and I'm like, I don't care how I feel tomorrow, I just wanna eat candy and have fun, you know? Um, but you know that's obviously a bad decision sometimes but you know that's how greedy algorithms work but don't quote me on that because that people might get mad in the comments but that's kind of like greedy algorithms right i mean I've, i don't know, i haven't done that many but there you go okay so that's uh how you do it if we submit this i haven't even submitted it to make sure it works there we go it works okay there we go so that's um that's the video time complexity looks like um we're looping through at least the whole string once um, so that's a linear scan right there plus K deletions. Um, but the K deletions are kind of occurring. Let's say we're deleting, um, we're deleting no more than two times the length of the string. So, um, it's, it's happening with It's just a linear scan, right? Cause it's just happening. This loop's just happening within the, um, counting loop, you know, it's literally just kind of uh, conditional, and um, two. I think I think two two n is like the max, right? Okay, and um, so then we have while k is greater than zero, um, because there's not going to be more than k, and then to a space. All right, I'm taking too long. I haven't done a video in a while. I'm sorry, dude. I'm having a bad time. Okay. 
Um, space complexity is uh, O of N, uh, linear as well. And then you have this down here, still linear though. It's only just the length of the string. That's it. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get back into it, but I'm going to try and post more. So that's, it's a good algorithm. Hopefully you guys understand that. Um, and you, you know, I don't know if I explained this, but you don't delete the nine at the end. You're like, okay, well, you know, you might want to, why don't we do it later or whatever? Uh, well, there is no later, but okay. You're doing, you're doing the immediate deletions of whenever you find a smaller viable candidate, you're immediately replacing the bigger number with the smaller number to get the smaller number because these you're doing it immediately because the first numbers are the best ones to get optimized for the smallest value because they are worth the most, right? You want to get rid of this four, you want to turn this four to a three instead of this nine to a two, right? You don't want, you don't want to delete the nine and make it two, right? You want to, I mean, whatever, dude, but I don't know. I might be digging myself a hole here. I I'm really out of the algorithm game. I'm just noticing and this video is way too long. Thank you for watching. I'm going to do a better one next time, hopefully. All right, see ya.